Turn that ISO up cause it's freaking dark in here. I look good. Oh. Hello. So today is a snow day for me and I'm working from home. The project I'm working on is a little stressful so I decided to take a little break and make this video. <laughs> Did your boss ever just give you a project that he thinks is gonna be really easy and so do you and then you actually start working on it and you're like but you can't tell your boss that hey this is actually a lot more work than you thought and he needs it done by end of day and should I be making this video right now? No. So I just wanted to sit down and make a video. How many times have I said that in one video? Wow, there it is again. First of all, we're gonna go in with my, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Fairly Light Beige, so I can just get rid of all that schmutz. I just wanted to make a little get ready with me, because I haven't done one in a while. I'm not going anywhere. And you know, I'll probably wipe this all off at the end. But it relaxes me and talking to you guys relaxes me, so I really need that right about now. <laughs> it's funny because Frodo could totally tell I was getting stressed out. I'm sure a lot of you have dogs or cats that the minute you feel the slightest bit of aggravation, they are all over you. <laughs> I swear, Frodo can sense my stress from across the house and he will seek me out. He thinks that sitting on me and rubbing his face on my hand and not letting me do any work fixes things. And I don't have the heart to tell him, no Frodo, it doesn't. I love you, but it doesn't. One of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is just to kind of talk through my emotions and thoughts. I guess I'll just get some of the negative thoughts out of my mind first and then we'll move on to the happy stuff and the stuff that I'm excited for, okay? Vote now. <laughs> just kidding. As many of you have seen, I did a... Oh no! Oh, no. Where, where did that go? Where did it go? Did it just like roll out of this dimension? I don't... Ow! So many of you have seen that I did a Besame review with the products that they sent me. And I just want to say for the people that left sweet comments, thank you very much. Um, every nice comment definitely outweighs the more critical, sometimes sassy comments. And the thing is, I knew that going in. I knew that it was not going to be a favorite and I was going to get a lot of sass. To be fair, I did put a lot of sass out into the universe, so I can really only imagine that I would get it back. Basically, I'm not surprised that people are taking it wrong. And I, I, I have a lot of things I want to say about it, but I mostly want to say I'm sorry. I think that I came off a lot different than what I had planned. I think a lot of you were saying, you know, it doesn't seem like my normal self and the video was off and they didn't enjoy it. And I, I get that, but the funny thing is I did have fun trying out all the products and I did have fun editing it even though it was a disaster to edit and had lots of technical difficulties and all that stuff. And a lot of people were saying like my energy was down and that it seemed like I was forced into making it. And that's tough to hear. I feel like there's two... The internet is weird because I feel like there's two or more sides of every interaction. Um, by people telling me, you know, Rachel, I didn't really like this video, your energy was off. One. I get it. I get that they're concerned for me and they know what I'm usually like. And it's it's basically like asking a friend, hey, are you okay? But on the flip side, my brain is saying, okay, so that means that I can't film videos when I'm not feeling super 
on point or chipper or anything. Well, I get that you guys are concerned and I appreciate it. It's also, it's also more pressure for me. I'm sorry if I'm super emotional right now. I'm really stressed with this project and I'm just a big old cry baby, you know. I'm going with my NYX eyebrow pencil in brown. And I think what makes me so upset about it is that I didn't make the video to be mean. A lot of people were saying I was unnecessarily salty and I went into it knowing that I wasn't going to like the products. And I don't think that's true at all. I knew, I kind of had a feeling I wasn't going to be a fan of their lipsticks. And I even said that in the video that I'm very much used to liquid lipsticks where I put it on and don't worry about it. But I was excited to try the other products and it bums me out that my attitude wasn't a little bit different. And I totally get why it seems like I made the video to shit on Besame, basically. <laughs> but I, I can promise you that I didn't. I wanted to like their other stuff and I actually did like their stuff. And that's the other thing about YouTube is that it's almost like my negative comments about things outweighed all the times I was like, oh, I like this. Because if you watch the video, I liked the colors of the lipsticks, except for Dusty Rose, but that's just my own personal, I don't know, I just, I didn't like it on me. I loved the blush, I loved the powder, I did not like the mascara. A lot of people were pointing that out, saying that I was being kind of bratty about the extra step when it's supposed to be a replica. Yes, I understand. I'm sorry I was sassy about it. I did complain about the price, and I get that they make it themselves and why it's pricey, but I just don't want to pay that. And I think that kind of got misconstrued. <laughs> a lot of it got misconstrued. I really don't like making review videos, so I don't think I'm gonna do them anymore. <laughs> it's just, I wanted to be honest and I wanted, and it seems like people thought that I was purposely. <sighs> I don't know how makeup artists do it, man. <laughs> It's just makeup, I know it's just makeup. But some of the comments are like, people take it so seriously. I get that it's a small makeup brand and I really didn't try to attack anyone. I forgot my eyebrow pencil, oh no. And the thing is too, I, I agreed with a lot of the negative comments. You know, a lot of them were saying that I seemed ungrateful. I don't remember seeming ungrateful. But then when I watched it back, I do seem kind of like a brat by saying the whole like, oh, it's free advertising for them, brr, brr, brr. And not once did I thank them. So that is frustrating for me because there's nothing I can do now. Um, you know, you edit your video and then you put it out in the world and get feedback on it. But you can't really implement that feedback. Um, I think like next time I go to make a makeup review, if I'm ever sent products, I'll make sure that I'm really let the company know. Part of it was I didn't think Besame was gonna watch it, so by saying like, oh, thank you, Besame, I don't know. I just don't want people to think I'm ungrateful for things that people send me, because I am. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> uh, I'm going with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I think in a way, it's stupid for me to defend myself because even this video, I think mostly my subscribers are gonna watch it, not the people that, you know, leave that one and done kind of comment. And I get that. I just don't want you guys to think if you had an inkling like, ooh, Rachel was kind of a bitch in this video. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. And in general, I think I'm pretty good with negative comments. Um, a lot of them just slide off on me. If it's about how I edit or how I act or how I look, I don't really care <laughs> about what people have to say about that because I like my videos and the way I edit makes me happy and it makes it way more fun than if I were just to leave out the memes and the silly jump cuts and all that stuff. That, it makes the process enjoyable for me. So it doesn't really bother me if people were like, oh, you tried too hard. Oh, you're obnoxious. Yes, I am. But it's, it's when comments come after your character, I think, is when I start to lose it a little. I think I've always had this issue of wanting everyone to like me. 
I mean, I never went out of my way to make people like me. But if I knew someone didn't like me, it drove me nuts. <laughs> it's kind of like that episode of New Girl when Nick's girlfriend doesn't like Jess and she's like, like so bothered by it. She's like, why doesn't she like me? And then the girl's like, I get your whole shtick, you know, like you like puppies and, you know, glitter and that, that's great. That works for you. It's like the internet. <laughs> Everyone thinks you always have a shtick. I don't have a shtick. It's just me. But when people say, I couldn't watch this because you're too irritating and ungrateful. Because the other thing about YouTube is that it's such a one-way conversation. I put words out to you and I understand that they're open for interpretation and anyone can take them differently. And especially with a negative review, I think it can hit people wrong and words can come out different than what I meant them to. If you've been a part of the channel, you know that I try to reply to almost every single comment. And even the negative ones, I know I should just ignore. But like, part of me is just like, I want to change their minds. <laughs> you instinctively want to defend yourself and- But it's just so unsatisfying because someone will say, you know, you're ungrateful. And then you can reply, no, but I am grateful. I'm sorry it didn't come off that way. And then like, silence. You know, it doesn't get resolved. You don't even know if the person heard you or cares. And the thing is, you shouldn't care. I shouldn't care if people think I'm ungrateful, because I know I'm not. But it still hurts here. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Besame. Um, I'm sure they're not watching this, but I was really, really grateful for them sending me stuff. Going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The mailman, you know, he's so stereotypical. Oh, really? And also it figures that the videos you don't really want people to watch end up being mildly more successful than your other videos. Like, no, 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 don't watch this one. No, no, no. This is only the third day of it being out on the internet. And I'm sure that I'm gonna get a lot more snarky judges of character. I put that video out and after the first few negative comments, I stopped looking at my creator studio on the computer because I didn't want to watch all the dislikes come in and the mean comments. And I kind of just ignored it altogether. And to be honest, it made me feel good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of starting to try this new thing where I will check YouTube at work and reply to comments at work, but when I come home, I'm gonna push my phone to the side and just spend time with Nick because, especially lately, I've been finding myself on commercials, checking my phone, and I don't wanna do that. First of all, because I stare at a screen all day long and it's not good for my eyes to stare at more screens when I get home, so I'm, I mean, I look at the TV screen. So I'm trying to cut down on that and I think it has helped because it's kind of made me realize what's important in life again. Um, I think for a while I've been really too focused on how well my YouTube is doing, like, oh, views are down, oh, YouTube's demonetizing my videos, meh. And I think I need to step back and think about the things that truly make me happy, and that's it. My husband and my puppy and my cat make me happy, and making things makes me happy, and cosplay makes me happy, and making YouTube videos because I want to and not because they make me a couple bucks a month, you know? And I think I've been so wrapped up in that. To be fair, yes, I do YouTube already because I love it and not because of the money. It does get me like $300 a month which does cover my train bill to commute to actual work. So that's pretty cool and I think that's why I was getting frustrated with YouTube. Long story short, if you didn't know, YouTube has this new AI that is supposed to flag inappropriate videos and set them to demonetized. And it has gone a little hog wild and tags videos that are perfectly fine based on some unknown reason that no YouTuber knows. So it happens with every single one of my videos. And what I have to do is hit manual review, and then it's up to YouTube to watch it and be like, oh wait, you're right, it's fine. And that can take up to one to two days. So 
all the income and clicks during those one to two days until they decide that they made a mistake is just gone. Uh, they don't reimburse you for that. Even though it was their mistake in the first place, the creator is the one that gets punished for it. So that's kind of crappy. And I'm sure that if you've been watching YouTube for the past few months, oh, probably a lot of your creators are talking about that because it sucks. <laughs> Where's my blush? i just use Best Mace. See, I don't hate them. What is he doing? Trash man. Hey, Mr. Trash man. Oh yeah. Oh, it was right here the whole time. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to try like a 20s type thing. Although I already did my eyebrows wrong, but that's okay. And as far as my future on YouTube, I'm just trying to forget about it. Just do what I want to do and not make videos because I think they're going to do well. I would love for this to be a full-time gig. But the more I think about it, the more I think it's just not going to happen. <laughs> it would be nice. I put a lot into my YouTube videos, so it would be nice to be able to do that all the time. Like, honestly, that's my dream, is that I could just focus on YouTube and not have to work 40 to 50 hours a week and then fit in YouTube when I can on the weekends. In the dark out there. Ooh. Oops. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just have to stop judging myself based on if I'm going to be able to do that or not and try to find something in the meantime that makes me happy. And I think I think I want cosplay to kind of fill that gap for now. So I have been planning on doing a lot more cosplay stuff. Uh, PAX East is coming up in April and I want to cosplay Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Is that even a thing that's happening? I don't know. And I have started shopping for materials and planning stuff and making her extensions and all that stuff. And like I said, it has made me so excited to have like a Aloy photo shoot and just be her because she's a badass. And on that note, I had a Belle photo shoot this past weekend, which was honestly totally random. What do I do with you? I don't know, just gonna pin you and then we'll see what happens. Uh, I had asked my cousin who works at a barn if I could borrow one of the horses to take photos with. You are scrooky, hello. And she said yes. So she was awesome and called the owner and I worked with this little pony named Butter. Did she spit? Probably. And she was the cutest little lady. She was 15 or 14, I think. And she was the perfect Philippe. She did a marvelous acting job. Turn around in my driveway. Excuse me? Get out. Yeah, it was a bit like when someone asks you to hold their baby and then the baby starts fussing and you're like, take it back, take it back, take it back. So my cousin had me hold the reins and pose with Butter, but she informed me that horses have very short attention spans and Butter was getting a little cranky and she would keep pulling her head down and pulling it sideways and, and like walking in circles. And it's weird because I have a mutual love for horses and also they scare me because they're so massive and stunning creatures, but kind of scary also. <laughs> She's like, just pull it back, like hard. I was like, I don't wanna butter. <laughs> it was really, really fun and really, really cold. Uh, thank you, Tommy, for helping with that. His poor fingers were freezing off and so were mine, but we got some delicious coffee afterwards and it was great. I don't really know what I wanna do with those photos. We took some behind the scene videos, but it's not enough to make like a full video of it. So I think what I want to do is maybe do a time lapse of how I edit my cosplay photos in Photoshop, like how I did this Wonder Woman photo. So I kind of want to do that with Belle's photo, but do it like winter and 
kind of creepy looking because it's the part where she's in the, the wolf circle kind of thing. So maybe some wolf silhouettes in there. I don't know. Let's make it spoopy. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I don't know. What else? I'm going to California in like almost two weeks, which is crazy. Uh, so I'm excited for that and I'm excited to meet some of you at the meetup. Ah, and I'm also really nervous. But I think where I've been kind of sad about YouTube lately and kind of discouraged and kind of like I'm just gonna quit mentality, I think meeting you guys and hugging you and I think that will help me. I just hope I'm not gonna be too awkward. <laughs> We shall see. Does this look stupid? I can't even tell. Kinda. Oh well. So now I'm just gonna go in with Kat Von D's Nosferatu and maybe put a little bit of noir on top of it from Besame because I really like that vampy color and transfer doesn't really matter right now because I'm just gonna wipe it all off. <laughs> so I kinda wanted to go for like a very exaggerated lip shape because that's what they did oops a lot of people were like oh you're so exaggerated with how you put on the lipstick like you should know how to put on the lipstick meh uh, and like honestly <laughs> as you can see I was not doing that on purpose you act like you've never put on lipstick before when you're so used to putting on lipstick a certain way and then to try one of these things, which I don't know if you've ever tried, but they're thick, two C's. So it's an adjustment and I'm sorry that I didn't put it on gracefully. What do y'all want from me? I just am that bad at applying lipstick for some reason. I just wanted to make this video and check in with you guys because I know some of the negative comments were saying all that stuff and most of my normal viewers weren't but there were a few of my normal viewers saying that it seemed a little off. I just wanted to check in and apologize for my attitude in that video. And if I seemed ungrateful, because I really, really, really am not. I just wanted to connect and let you know that, that I am a human and I have I'm very overactive brain. And I don't want you to take it as like, oh, we should never criticize her. Cause she's sensitive, baby. I, I do think it's important to open up that dialogue. And I do think it's important that people pointed out that it wasn't my energy, even though I didn't realize it. I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. But like I said, I'm just gonna keep doing things that make me happy, uh, including makeup transformations. So those of you that enjoy watching those, keep an eye out. I have one already filmed and I want to film another one very soon. School bus. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Probably go darker on the eyebrows, huh? Let's do it. Hey school bus, how you doing? Don't mind me, just your neighborhood YouTuber. <laughs> how you doing? Okay. I don't know, it's a look I guess, right? That's it. I'm sorry that I cried like a baby. Whenever companies send me free stuff, I definitely appreciate it. And I didn't mean, oh, Besame has free advertising because of all my viewers. Not what I meant at all. What I meant didn't even necessarily have to do with Besame. I just meant that that's what PR is, is that they send you free stuff and then they kind of expect you to review it. And then in turn, that's free advertising. And I know that can be misconstrued. I will admit it sounded like I was being a brat, but I really didn't mean it like that. I just meant that even though they sent it to me for free, I wasn't gonna limit my opinions. And that's all I meant. And I know a lot of you already know that and got it, but I just wanted to make sure because I just want, I just want y'all to like me. That's all. Okay, I'm gonna go get back to work. I haven't checked my phone and my boss is probably like, where are you? So if I'm fired, you know why. And I love you all so very much. Thank you for being there for me, for me to just blurt out, just say what's on my mind. It really helps a lot. I love you, whether you're new or old to this channel. See you in the next video. Bye.